Hey guys, SexyC here, and welcome to episode 46 of my Let's Play. And in this episode, I'm going to head to the Nether. I've done it before, but, um, you know, that was just to collect glowstone. And you can hear that, um, sound in the background, that's the pump still working to finish off the peat bog. But let's not worry about that right now. Before I go, um, I'm just going to say that one of my goals today is to find a Nether Fortress. And to do that, um, if I do find one, I'm going to make myself a portal spawn in there so I can get back to it easily. And if you guys don't remember how to craft it, it's like this, I believe. Oh, I only needed four iron, I think. Yep, it's expensive, but oh well. I'm also going to make... How much iron do I have? Uh, need two more. What? Button isn't working. There we go. I'm going to make a receiver. I believe. Is that how you make it? It's a torch, right? No, that's the. I'm pretty sure the torch is the transmitter or whatever you call it. So let's just see if I'm right. Receiver, that's what I want. Okay, so I'm gonna head to the nether, and if you don't f remember, I had um no, that's not the right frequency. There we go. I had one in my old house, old house, like really old, like this. What? Was that there? That shouldn't be there because I never crafted one. I'll leave it there, I'm not going to use it. But, there was one down here. And I might move this portal eventually. Because, um, there was nothing cool around my spawn anyway, so... Might as well move it, you know. Oh yeah, that's right. It was a bad spawn. No, I'm going to move it back near my new house. So I just got constantly fired by ghasts. Okay, I'm going to break this portal. need it to be here. And breaking obsidian is really boring, so I'm not going to do that. I'm hoping I have some obsidian back home. Well, that's laggy. Let's see, it should be in here, but do Five, that's not quite enough. Let's see, how much is obsidian worth? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Something's lagging really badly. What's going on? Wow. What's with the lag? Hold on, I'm gonna restart Minecraft, something really weird's going on. I'll be right back. Okay, so something really weird's happened. Um, I restarted Minecraft, so it's not laggy anymore, but my teleport pipes have disappeared. I'm not sure if you noticed um, up there as well. And this has become this floating thing, I don't know what's happened to it. Um, my other ones, however, my other, the liquid teleport pipes that I've got all my buildcraft and the energy teleport pipes haven't disappeared and I think it's safe to assume that the ones down... oh, what? No. Oh, okay. Well, as far as I'm concerned, I believe two of them disappeared. No, three. Yep. Oh, that's a scary sound. Zombie! Come on, boy. I'm gonna come. No worries. Alright. XP. Yep. So, yeah. One here, and one was here. And one more was up there, so I'm just going to give them to myself, because, you know, it was a game crash problem. Not my fault, so. 
I'm not going to spend more diamonds on something that um, happened like that. So these three teleport pipes um, rightfully belong to me. So I'm going to connect them back up. Oops. One was connected to that. One was... Oh, don't want that happening. One was connected to that one. I think. I don't know, but there were two there. And one was... No. Wait. There was one out there as well. See this? It's still there. It's... I don't know what it's doing. It's just gone really weird. And... Crafting. No, this one. Connected to the crafting. It's gotta be a true. I think. No, nope, it's not working. Hold on. Oh, this is wasting time. So I know I had one here at least. And let's just say that's this is the chests, alright? This is connected to chests. See if true. And I had one down there that was connected to chests and one down there that was connected to crafting. So this one received true, this was supply, this was the uh, chests. Oh that's right. The crafting one was also up there, which was also connected to my automatic pipe over there. So there were two down here. Let's just push that back. Wow, it's annoying. So one was connected to crafting, received true. The other one was connected to chests. It's also true. Alright, so that's that sorted. And I need one more for outside. And I'll show you in a moment why I need that one. Oh, not that many. Well, one. Okay, now that one up there is connected to crafting, I believe. Cool. And. Well, it's scary. Hopefully, you guys. Uh, it's not too dark for you guys. Should put some lights up here. Okay, no zombies around me, it's just really loud. And you see, the one here has gone weird as well. So I'm going to connect this to Bogger well, Supply Receive True. Alright, cool. So, and my smart moving thing's gone weird as well. So, Alright, at least I didn't have to go back to a backup, that would be a pain. But, anyway, let us continue what we were doing. We were getting obsidian out of our transmutation table. That's worth 64, that's fine. It's nothing too much. And I can actually get that from all this wood I've got here. That's jungle wood. This wood is worth 8 per piece. So, that should give me 64. I need 8 wood. Get myself a piece of obsidian. And 8. Nine. Oh, I need one more. Ten. That's just enough to make uh, the bare minimum for a portal. So I'm going to get myself flint and steel, which I had in here, I believe, but something must have happened to it. Maybe it was in here. No. Oh, well, I'm going to make a new one. Whatever. And I always get this wrong. Yes, I did right this time. And where to put this portal? I'll. Mm, don't want it to be noisy in here, but I'll make it off in this direction. So I'll make a room and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've made a nice room, just uh, in here, and I'm going to place down my portal frame. And you won't notice the corners, missing corners, so that's cool. Just gonna light it up a bit 
better. And I might have some kind of fancy doorway into here later on. But for now, I'm good. Awesome. And, yeah, I found all this while digging out this room, so... I'm gonna dump it all back into here. And, oh no, it's that weird energy bug again. <sighs> I'll keep the coal. And, oh, I found a... I got an iron sword from a, a zombie, so... That was pretty cool. And I should stop delaying my trip to the nether. But, I have to fix this. Because... It's annoying. And I might need the energy when I come back, so I'd rather have it going. Wrench. Stop anything I don't need. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. All that. I'll keep some wood. But yeah, I'll take the rest. Whatever. Okay, and let's go to the nether for the second time, I believe, and hopefully we get in a much better spot. Oh, I forgot to dump that cop. Oh well. Okay, come on. Really hoping to get close to the fortress. And what? I ended up in the same one. That's not fun. Alright, well, I guess I'm stuck in the same place. But I am going to go exploring. And I'm just curious. I don't think portals work between dimensions. Well, well get out of the fire. I'm gonna put out all these fires. Luckily the ghasts are gone. Because they were really annoying. Well, come on. These fires are dangerous. They could kill you. Alright. That's enough. I'm gonna make a nice little room in here. For my portal. And I might actually need another portal. Swanner. Okay, cool. Okay, so I'm going to go exploring, and if I find anything interesting, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, so I've been exploring for a bit, and I haven't really found anything, unfortunately. I have not seen any sign of a fortress. But since I'm here anyway, I might as well um, collect some of this easy to reach glowstone. Because I'm a little short of that stuff too. Let's go up. Oh, whoops. Wait, what happened? No. Ah, oh, it's collecting glowstone. Wow. That sucks. Oh, I'm back. Awesome. Uh oh. Can I not get back? Oh well. I'll find my way back. I left some markers and torches and stuff, so I'll be cool. But I'm just gonna go around and click this close zone. And there's a massive pile just over there, so I'm gonna grab that too. And yeah, I think that's it for the nether. I had no um could not find another fortress at all, so I'm a little disappointed. Um I might make another portal somewhere else to see if I get any luck in another part of the nether, but I'll see how it is. I'm gonna finish collecting this glowstone first. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm just uh creating a bit of a platform here. So I can collect that massive pile of glowstone up there. And I'm lagging, so I'm just gonna switch it down a bit shorter. And I think that should be fine. I think I've nearly got all the places covered. So I'm just gonna be drilling away here. I think I need to get higher. It looks like it's all falling down where it's supposed to, so that's good. Wow, there is a lot of glowstone here. Here it goes, I hope it's not too close. Ooh, I might want to fix that corner.
fun, actually. Anyway, I'm sure you guys have seen enough of this, so I'm gonna be right back when I finish collecting all this glowstone. Okay, it's that last bit of glowstone. Awesome. I'm gonna go down there and collect my loot. Wow, will you look at that? Amazing. Should be good for glowstone, I think, for a little while. Wow, that's a lot. I think some of it, a little bit of it dropped on over, but not complaining. This is a lot. It's a really good find, this bunch of glowstone. Some dropped down here. I'm aware of that. And the rest looks like it's cool. Well, hopefully it's not too dark for you guys. But that's uh, nothing else much to do in the nether for this episode, I don't think. Wow. Just look at that. Um, I'm going to head back to my base, and uh, I think I have a plan, don't know if it'll work, on how to see if I can get myself to another part of the nether, which hopefully has um, another fortress nearby, so I'll be right back. Well, I made it back, um, had to deal with a few ghasts along the way, but that's alright. Um, yeah, I don't know what happened here, I might just set up uh, one of these portal spawners here right now. No. Let's make it an orange portal. Alright, cool. And I'm going to set it to frequency 999. So nice and easy to remember. And it'll only be used for the nether, obviously. I don't think you can go in between dimensions. So I don't want to mess with that in case something screws up. But I'm going to head back. And dump my precious load of glowstone. Oh. Wow. Oh, I'm somewhere totally random. Oh no, wait, I remember this place. This is where my house used to be. How strange. So I don't come back out of that. Hmm, okay. That's alright, that's why I've got this. And... He doesn't play like crazy and do something crazy. Okay. It's done that weird thing to me again. Something's going to overload. Why oh, things have disappeared. Okay, that's a weird bug. And only very loud. So I'm gonna fix that. I don't know why that keeps happening, but I'll be right back when it's dealt with. Okay, so I fixed the problem, it's all back to normal, everything's working again, and I'm now going to dump all my glowstone in here. Doesn't that look nice? That's awesome. And I'm going to deal with this, and go to sleep quickly. Oops. Well, I think I'm going to leave the nether for this episode. I think I've had enough of it. Um, unfortunately, I did not find a fortress. I'm a little disappointed, but that's alright. piece of iron from that. I never knew you could get iron. Hmm. So that's new to me. Some more stuff here. And then go in there. Okay, awesome. So everything's working well. One thing I did notice, wow, that thing refills fast. It's already seven in there. One thing I did notice was I'm getting all the all the excess stuff is getting dumped in here, right? And I would like my chest to be able to pull that stuff out as well to use in the future. So I'm going to make a provider pipe 
which I happen to have, which is awesome. I'm going to connect it to here. And what this means is, um, well, basically, this is a default chest, so anything that doesn't get used, for example, if I request um, one stick from here, it crafts four sticks at a time, so it's going to give me that one stick, and the rest um, will go into this chest. And that's what's going on here. All the overflow items, as a result of the crafting process downstairs, is getting dumped into here. And I would like my system to be able to use the stuff that gets dumped in this chest as well. So that, you know, next time it needs cells, it will use up these ones before it goes and crafts new ones. If not, this chest will fill up with cells that haven't been used. So that provider pipe will allow that system to pull stuff out of that chest. Which is handy. Oops. And this dirt here does come from my, uh, what is it called? The peat bog over here. So, um... We're pretty much out of time on this episode. I've been going over time recently. Um, something I do not like too much. But I've got a decent amount of peat in here. So I use... Uh, I tend to like to keep my episode around roughly 20 minutes. And not too much over. That's just personal preference. And because... Um, because of my internet upload speed, it's pretty slow. I don't like it when it uploads for ages. So that's why. And I'm just going to put a bit in there. And... A byproduct of this is ash, which uh, has its own uses. Can be used to make compost, which is used as the fertilizer. And this stuff is also a type of fertilizer. Or it can be used with uh, propolis to make bitumous peat, which is more efficient than just peat. But I'll leave that for later because I don't have a constant supply of that stuff yet. And not much of that either. This fertilizer is used for the production of biofuel, which um, I did get a comment about someone, from someone, um, talking about, uh, well, not really talking about, asking me to use biofuel engines. I will get to that in the future, but not at the moment. And look at that. Oh, that's cool. It's really handy, actually. Never knew you could do that. But anyway, um, I think I might end the episode here. Thanks for watching, guys. Next episode, I'm probably going to fix up um, a bit of this stuff so all the dirt gets uh, sent to its appropriate chest. It doesn't just all flow into the uh, overflow chest. Um, I'd rather keep it a little neat and tidy, but otherwise this peat bog is going very well. I might want to automatically um, transfer this peat back into my house as well, rather than just having it sitting in the chest. But yeah, this guy, did you see that? Um, it gets reduced and it gets, yeah, this hole here, um, I think peat is getting produced so you can be placed there. That's awesome. So I think this place is going well, the pump is working as it should, except it's not getting power, and why would that be? Is it because of that weird bug again? Wow, it's really annoying. Okay, so I fixed the problem. It was uh, this thing running out of, um, well, not running out of power, but not transmitting power. So I fixed that. Just got to wait a bit for this to build up heat again, but that's all right. Everything's settled. Um, I'm going to end the episode right here, guys. Um, sorry to, well, not sorry to you guys, but. Um, I was a little disappointed about um, not being able to find a nether fortress, and yeah, I'll try and find another way of, you know, getting to new areas of the nether to hopefully find a fortress, because I do need to find blaze rods. Um, they're a very useful part of um, some of the mods I'm using, and I think you can only find them in nether fortresses, so, or well, blaze spawners anyway, so that's uh, one of my priorities to get that done as soon as possible but anyway thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed the, oops hope you enjoyed this video and um yeah see you guys next time uh need two more what control button isn't working there we go i'm going to make 
a receiver. I believe. Is that how you make it? It's a torch, right? No, that's the. I'm pretty sure the torch is the transmitter. Or whatever you call it. That shouldn't be there because I never crafted one. I'll leave it there, I'm not going to use it. But there was one down here. And I might move this portal eventually. Because um, there was nothing cool around my spawn anyway, so might as well move it, you know. Oh yeah, that's right. It was a bad spawn. No, I'm going to move it back near my new house. So I just got constant to say that one of my goals today is to find another fortress. And to do that, um, if I do find one, I'm going to make myself a portal spawner there so I can get back to it easily. And if you guys don't remember how to craft it, it's like this, I believe. Oh, I only needed four iron, I think. Yep, it's expensive, but oh well. I'm also going to make... How much iron do I have? So, let's just see if I'm right. Receiver, that's what I want. Okay, so I'm going to head to the nether, and if you don't f remember, I had... Um, no, that's not the right frequency. There we go. I had one in my old house. Old house, like really old, like this. What? Why is that there? Hey guys, it's XCC here, and welcome to episode 46 of my Let's Play. And in this episode, I'm going to head to the nether. I've done it before, but, um, you know, that was just to collect glowstone. And you can hear that um, sound in the background, that's the pump still working to finish off the peat bog. But let's not worry about that right now. Before I go, um, I'm just going to 